Yo, what's up, guys? It's Nick from Begins Gaming. Welcome back to another MLB The Show 22 Diamond Dynasty videos. Today, we have the big all-star drop. And it is a lot. I will say it's a lot. And it's it's refreshing. But, you know, it, it's just a lot more underwhelming compared to last year. But I'm just not going to complain. I'm just going to show you guys the new cards and just go over it. Uh, so here, I'll wait for the calendar. Is, can, do I need to just back out to do this? So it updates. I think that's what I need to do. No, it's still... Alright, whatever. I'll, I'll just go back to the calendar. But anyway, we have the All-Star update. And it's a new program. It's not like Team Affinity last year, but yeah. So it's like the future of the franchise and the face of the franchise where there are 30 bosses and there's a bunch of henchmen. I will say this program is juiced, like it's a lot more juiced than the other ones, which I'm happy about. But yeah, I'm going to go over all 30 of the all-star cards. So first we have Joe Mantiply, sinker, curveball, circle change, four seam. He has great, or I wouldn't say great, but good hits per nine. But he has 125 walks per nine. Even though that pitch mix isn't amazing, that's honestly intriguing. And the control is really good. The break is really good, except the curveball. I'll give this card a shot as a lefty reliever. I'm still a little concerned about the velocity and the pitch mix, but that walks per nine is insane. CJ Crone, nice power bat, good contact for righties with gold defense. Tony Gonsolin, this card on paper is pretty good, but his pitch mix isn't amazing. The control is really good. The break is really good. Manny Machado, this card is pretty nice. The power versus righties is a little low, but he does have good contact, so he'll get a lot more singles against righties and a lot more extra base hits against lefties with 125 power. He also has very good defense. And then Carlos Rodon, four seam slider, 12 six circle change. The control, meh, break, meh, this card isn't really that good. Go to the NL Central. Wilson Contreras, very good against lefties, serviceable against righties, gold defense. Luis Castillo, circle change, sinker, four seam slider. I'm happy he has the slider. The control, it's pretty good. The brakes are pretty good. This card's pretty nice. Does he have outlier? He does on the sinker. So this card is actually pretty nice. Corbin Burns, this card is really good. Carter, sinker, uh, curveball, slider, circle change. Does he have outlier? He does on the sinker. Okay. Control, I, like really good, and then break really good, except for the sinker, but it's a sinker. David Bednar, sucks this guy doesn't have a good pitch mix, because if he did, he would be gross, with, because like those per nines are really good. 118, 107, too bad he doesn't. Paul Goldschmidt, this is a nice card, really good against lefties, and pretty good against righties with gold defense. I don't, why is his stealing so low? That's my only question. I don't know why he's stealing so low. And at least Dansby Swanson, this is a nice card, and I will say about Dansby Swanson is that his swing is gorgeous. Like, he has a really nice swing in this game. He already has diamond defense, good speed. This card, I definitely like. Sandy Alcantara, oh my god. 111 hits per nine, 112 stamina, 99 velocity, 97 break, outlier on the sinker, circle change, sinker, four seam slider, curveball. This is a very good card. This is probably going to be the best pitcher in this program. Edwin Diaz, another reliever that kind of gets ruined by the pitch mix. Slider, four seam, two seam, not very good. So, I mean, there's nothing you can really do about that. Control, break, like it's a really good card. It just doesn't have a good pitch mix. Bryce Harper, 110, 100 contact, 106, 82 power. You know, solid defense, not terrible. He has, all right here, he has nice speed. See what I did there? And then Juan Soto, 98, 77 contact, 114, 98 power. With gold defense, overall, pretty solid card. AL West, Justin Verlander, four seam slider, 12 six, circle change, two seam. Not an amazing card, you know, pitch mix again is an issue. Shoei Otani, this card is not that good. I mean, the only card, like, if you compare this card with his live series, I have his live series card, Super Fractor, if we go to it. If you compare it to his live series, where's his live series? His live series is pretty much better, excluding like the hitting stats. I would say the hitting stats, this Shohei Otani is better. But the everything else, the live series, like the Super Factor live series, is better. Now, yeah, the power versus righties is the only thing that he is better at. 
Control, I guess, maybe is better. I don't know. Paul Blackburn, Sinker Cutter, 12-6, Circle Change 4 seam. Crazy to think that Paul Blackburn might honestly be better than Shohei Otani. <laughs> but that might be the case. Julio Rodriguez, 108-114 versus lefties, 90-86 versus righties. He's pretty solid against righties. Uh, another really good swing. Really strong arm. And look at that speed. This card is really good. Martin Perez, sinker, uh, circle change cutter, forcing curveball. This card is pretty nice too. AL Central, Andres Jimenez, 112-98, 93-68. Not that amazing. Like diamond defense. Tim Anderson, this card I would take over Jimenez. Tim Anderson's swing is just butter. Like it's just so good. Gregory Soto, okay, this card is disgusting. Outlier on the sinker, four seam slider, or four seam sinker slider circle change. This card is elite. He's my first pick in this pack. Andrew Benatendi, terrible. I mean, like that power is just not good. Luis Arias, <laughs> terrible. Like he's only good for contact versus right. AL East, Jorge Lopez, oh my. Oh my god, this card is disgusting. Oh my god. Control break. Yep, this card is amazing. 120 hits per nine with outlier sinker. Yeah, this card is gross. JD Martinez, really high contact with serviceable power. We have Aaron Judge, pretty much the opposite. Really good power with serviceable contact. I wouldn't say serviceable against lefties. Shane McClanahan, four seam curveball, circle change slider. Another pitcher that gets ruined by his pitch mix, Alejandro Kirk. Overall, pretty nice catcher. I don't think he's better than Piazza, though. AL Central. Oh, wait, yeah. So those are all 30 of the cards. It is underwhelming compared to last year, but these are still good, and it's still refreshing. If we continue in the program, you get 18 out of the 30 in this program instead of 12. Then past 400K, we have... Future of the franchise cards, if you didn't do those. And then we got Big Dogs, Always Intense, yada, yada, yada. And then these Ball and Out of Control packs. So, yeah. Uh, what there is to do, Gameplay XP, Daily Moments, 1,500 a pop. Featured Program Moments, 1,500 a pop. And there's 30 of them, so that's 45K if you do all of those. Featured Program PXP Missions with the Henchman, which I'm going to show you real quick. 2K a pop times 30, that's 60K. Exchanges, there's six of them. If you do all of them, that's 30k. Another 30k for the conquest. So if you do everything in total, 30k, 30k, that's 60 plus 60, that's 120 plus 45, that's 165 daily moments. So you'll get around 170k, and that's not even including the gameplay XP, which gets you a bunch of these. So that's pretty nice. So yeah, those are all the new cards. Let me go over the henchman real quick. I don't really want to. Take too long. Prime Darren O'Day. A lot of these are recycled cards from the past, but some of them are new, and a lot of these are nice cards. And if you don't have George Brett, be thankful for these because these you're gonna get pretty fast. You know, Prime Darren O'Day, nice reliever. Second half, Kevin Euclid, not amazing. Chad Green. Now this card is definitely the best one. Four seam slider, cutter, sinker, circle change. Now the control isn't amazing. But this card is gross. Like, the per nines are amazing. Blake Snell, four seam, 12, six, circle change slider. Like, this card is, I mean, it's cool, but doesn't have great pitch mix. Kevin Biggio, they released this card last year. He's back, I'm sure. Uh, Kevin GUD will be happy about that card because that was one of his favorites. Gold Glove, Roberto Perez. I don't think there's going to be a better catcher in the game defensively. Yoan Moncada, if you hear lightning. There is a big storm where I live. I don't even know if you, you guys probably couldn't even pick that up. But it was just so loud that I had to mention it. Yoan Mankata, classic from 2019, great contact. Alan Trammell, I love this card in, in 19 or 20, I can't remember. I think it was, yeah, it was 19. Ori Soler, this card is nasty. He was in the game last year. Walter Johnson, his cards are always terrible. They always just sneak him in and like somewhere. Alex Bregman, back when he was actually good because he had trash cans. Okay, I'm sorry. All the other hitters have been good since the scandal and all the other hitters are good hitters, but he has not been good since 2019. So I just had to point that out. But this card is good. Brandon Marsh, I loved this card in MLB 20. 
Lefty Grove, not good. Daniel Vogelbach, classics from 19. And then Prime Elvis Andrews. For the NL henchman, we have Joe Torre, balance, catcher, catcher primary, yeah. Ryan Stanek, this is another reliever that I'm going to use. The control isn't amazing, but 121 hits per nine. Prime Michael Conforto, prime Shane Victorino, prime Tyler Clifford, great, con or like, it's a pretty solid car. Mark Pryor, 79 hits per nine, not usable. Barry Larkin, terrible power. Luis Urias, pretty good. You know, not amazing. Another nice reliever card. Cutter, knuckle curve, four seam splitter. Uh, like, it's a pretty good card. And then Adam Wainwright, another good reliever card. These two packs have a lot of good relievers. Uh, Justin Upton, nice balanced hitter. Same with Nolan Arenado with 99 fielding. Hunjin Ryu, this card would be gross if his velocity wasn't terrible and his per nines weren't terrible. But that pitch makes us disgusting. Kirby Yates, another nice reliever. And then another nice reliever with Sergio Romo. So yeah, these hunch these henchmen give you a lot of nice relievers. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the new content. There is a new event. Let me see if the calendar is there. Surely it's there. Yeah. So tonight, Home Run Derby, after it ends, they're going to be releasing a, a choice pack, just like last year. And they're doing the same thing for the MLB All-Star Game tomorrow night. And then that is when you can do the collection, which I should show you. <laughs> and then on Wednesday... There's a new 99 David Ortiz program and a new All-Star program. I'm hoping the new All-Star program has All-Star packs, Home Run Derby packs, and All-Star Game packs, or else this is going to be a really hard collection. It's the same way it works last year. You collect 44 of the All-Star cards, which they don't have 44 yet. We have to wait for the All-Star Game and the Home Run Derby cards. And you got this 99 Jackie Robinson. It's really good. You know, like, I don't... Yes, the power isn't amazing, but in this stage of the game... One of the few 99s. This card is really good. I'm going to be doing it. I don't know when I'm going to get him, but I am going to get him eventually. So, yeah, quickly let me go over the new event. It's Moonshot Week. It's just like any hitters, yada, yada, yada. And then we have a Finest Throwback, Fran Reyes, Insane Power, and then Adam Dunn, Retro Finest. So those are the new event rewards. If we go to the store, are the new headliners? No. So, yeah, that is going to be it. For this video, hope you guys enjoyed. I've been your host, Nick from Big Ants Gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.